With the release of Sony Pictures Animation's new movie has come a lot of criticism from people that were involved with the movie behind the scenes. Let's dive in right now. The entire internet has been talking about the new animated Spider-Man movie, Across the Spider-Verse. And I was originally gonna make a review of it, but I decided I'm not going to because I don't want to support Sony because of something that came out about the company, which I'm not going to and probably can't get into in this YouTube video. But one of the highlights of the new movie is the animation. You think the original Spider-Verse movie had amazing animation? You haven't seen anything yet. This new movie's animation animation is unlike any animated movie or show I've seen before. It's absolutely groundbreaking for its medium, and so many people, including me, are surprised they were able to finish it in just 5 years. Well, it turns out maybe they couldn't have if the movie was made ethically. Some of its crew members have come out about how exhausting it was to make the movie. The film was produced by Phil Lord and Chris Miller, who have both produced and directed many famous animated movies like Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, The Lego Movie, and the original Spider-Verse movie. According to the Spider-Verse 2 crew members who spoke out, Phil specifically has some problems with the way he leads people and was constantly having revisions done on the movie and having employees animate the same scene over and over again until it's perfect. And as many people who pay attention to the animation industry know, it takes time to to animate movie scenes. It can take up to 4 weeks to finish 1 minute of typical professional animation. But imagine how long it takes to make the across the Spider-Verse level of animation. And it's not only that, but having to do it over and over again until it's absolutely flawless. Apparently, Phil is an extreme perfectionist and has the attitude that if doing something would make Spider-Verse 2 a better movie, then do it. Regardless of how tedious and time consuming it would be on the staff. And many of the animators were left unable to do anything for months because Phil's constant changes were holding up the production. By the time the animators were actually able to do what needed to be done to make the movie, they had to overwork themselves and do everything much faster than the amount of time it would usually take a team of animators to do, to make up for the time that was wasted by Phil. They had to work on the movie for 7 days a week and over 11 hours a day, around 100 100 members of the staff left the movie because, quote unquote, they couldn't take it anymore. Animators who were still working on the movie chose to stay only so that they could make sure their contributions stayed in the movie. Many of the animators who left the production had the work completely replaced due to the constant revisions, making, in some cases, over a year's sweat and tears for them useless with nothing to show. They go on to say this was mainly a fill problem. But but Chris Miller, I don't know how hands-on he is with this production. For the most part, when we hold that a change or cut has been made, it's Phil. We always hear, there's a Phil note. It's never really Chris. We don't have proof of any of this actually happening. This is just what less than 10 people who worked on the movie are saying. This could just be a hit piece by some guys that just don't like Phil Lode. And Sony executives have disputed the statements. But if any of this is true, then something needs to change at Sony pictures animation. Employees are often mistreated in the animation industry, and so that kind of thing has to end. But what do you guys think of these claims? Let me know in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to like, share, and subscribe.